first of all, all the prophets and all the believers were encouraged and ordered to make tawbah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the hadith said, Ya ayyuhan nas, tubu ila Allahi wa astaghfiru. O people, turn unto Allah with sincere repentance and seek his forgiveness since by Allah I myself repent unto Allah and I seek his forgiveness 100 times every day. And the Sahaba used to count more than 100 times for him in the same sitting, saying, Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh. Okay? The ayah which says, Fastaghfara rabbahu, <coughs> Fastaghfara rabbahu wa kharra raki'an wa anab. Refers to what? Refers to a test that Prophet um, Dawood alayhi salam went through when he was tested when two angels presented their case before Dawood alayhi salam. One of whom said, Inna akhi hadha lahu tis'un wa tis'un na'jatan wa liya na'jatun wahida faqala akfil niha wa azzani fil khitab. Okay. The Mufassirin have different views whether this was <coughs> excuse me <coughs> two angels who climbed upon him the wall and entered into his seclusion when he was in worship and they presented their case one of them spoke out and said that my brother or my partner is asking me for my sheep I only have one sheep while he has 99 so he said just give it to me so I would have a hundred and it will not hurt you not to have any so immediately he issued the verdict that your partner or your brother uh, has wronged you and has uh, done injustice to you by asking you to give you uh, to give him his sheep, your sheep. And similarly, this is the condition of many partners. Except for those who believe in the good deeds, and there are few. Then Dawood realized that it was a test. So he sought forgiveness and he fell in prostration. And he returned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincere repentance. This is, uh, these are the ayat which describe the condition of the test. Yet the Mufassirin have different views. Whether the prostration of Dawood salam was because he issued the verdict before listening to the other party, before listening to the guy who, um, whom he judged that he has 99 sheep and he asked for the single sheep of his partner so that he can complete the 100 or because he did not give a chance to uh, uh, to the other person to present uh, his case and the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in the hadith innama ana bashar wa innakum takhtasimuna ilay the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself said I'm a human being and you people present your cases before me to judge between you so, وَقَدْ يَكُونُ أَحَدُكُمْ أَلْحَنُ بِحُجَّتِهِ مِنْ أَخِيهِ Maybe one of the opponents will be more eloquent or is more eloquent than his opponent. So, I would issue a verdict in accordance to what I hear. So, if I give you a ruling to give you something from your partner or your opponent which is not yours, I'm only giving you a piece of fire. A piece of fire. Let him take it or leave it. The story I refer to in Surah Sad. I said one of the uh, very um, famous explanations of the commentators of the Quran is what I mentioned earlier about the two opponents. Then he gave a verdict before listening to the other opponent. There is another uh, explanation which says that whenever he was in seclusion, film Harab, and that was the time for him to worship and uh, no one was allowed to enter upon him. So these guys had an urgent uh, case. So they climbed the wall and they entered upon him. And he 
suspected that they're here to assassinate him. That is because it was common amongst the prophets of Bani Israel that their people would assassinate them as they did with Yahya and they tried with Zakaria alayhi salam. You know, so <clears throat> they thought in his mind whenever he was ready to, you know, to punish them, a reaction while they have already a case, but he judged in the case based on the uh, confession of the second party. So this way they freed Dawood from giving a verdict without listening to the two opponents. <clears throat> but because of the thought that crossed his mind that these guys are here to assassinate him. And in this case, he realized that it was a test. And this is one of the 15 or 16 positions of the Quran where uh, it is highly recommended to make sujood when you recite it or when the Imam recites it, then the followers and make sujood, then the followers should make sujood uh, as well. The following answer is, له ذلك. So we pardon him for that. Um, no one should doubt that Dawood was one of the great prophets of Allah, that even in this story in Surah Sad, before the story of um, uh, the two opponents were mentioned, Allah admired him by mentioning 10 of his beautiful traits of being musabbah, of being righteous, of being a devout worshiper in the previous ayat. In addition to praising him in other ayat, the Prophet وسلم, also says in the hadith, أَفْضَلُ الصَّلَاةِ صَلَاةُ دَاوُودِ وَأَفْضَلُ الصِّيَامِ صِيَامُ دَاوُودِ The best of prayers and the best of fasting is the prayer of Dawood and the, the fasting of Dawood He used to pray, <coughs> he used to, um, he, um, he used to pray one third of the night, then he would sleep in the remaining one sixth of the night. Then he used to fast on every other day. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.